Hi everybody, it's Amalia, and I'm here today just to do a little show and tell about a mixed media canvas that I did uh, recently, and I talked about it last month during my goals, but I don't think I actually ever showed it uh, on a video. So, uh, so here I am to talk about it and to show it to you. Um, uh, I did it about last month, finished it approximately about last month and uh, I used all sorts of products and techniques on it and um, yeah I'm really happy with the way that it came out um, I did all sorts of things I know I showed you these uh, iron orchid designs little birds that I made with some paper clay I painted them up I whitewashed them, I added some gold to them, let me show you, I have some pieces that are, that broke, I know I showed you the ones that broke, but this is what they, here, this is what they look like before they were painted and all painted up and stuck to the canvas. Um, so let me tell you about how I got started. Uh, basically, I had this square canvas. You can get these types of canvases anywhere. Um, Michaels will have them. Um, you can get them anywhere, and they're pretty inexpensive. Uh, but they're cloth canvas framed with wooden frames. See the wooden frames right here on the canvas. Uh, the canvas is white. Uh, it wasn't this color it was it was white but I treated it as if it wasn't a white um, or rather a prepared canvas and I went ahead and added uh, a coat of gesso uh, to the whole canvas and gesso is a medium that you use to uh, prepare something for color basically you can use it on paper you can use it on uh, other substrates like wood etc and uh, yeah and um, so that's what I added first then I went over it with uh, a couple of these um, this is some items that I got uh, actually I got these at TJ Maxx it looks like for $1.99 a piece uh, this is stucco effect it's not a paint it has no viscosity like a paint it's probably actual stucco uh, and this is sparkle texture I don't know what uh, a paste uh, and the sparkle texture paste has a lot of texture in it uh, and I of course I painted over it so you probably can't see any of the texture you can see that texture but uh, yes yeah, so there's some of the sparkle right behind it right there and um, so yeah I added the sparkle texture I added a little bit here there's some here and here definitely here here as well you can you can see a little bit of the sparkle come through and definitely a lot of the texture you can't see it too much when it's when you're not up close to it here's some of it right here peeling off <laughs> uh, yeah and then the stucco I used uh, right here I used uh, here's some of the stencils that I used so I used this stencil right here with some of the stucco through it and uh, it just adds a lot of texture you can see it a little bit it's not you know it's painted over it's got lots of other ungapachki on top of it so you can't uh, it's not like in your face like this one is much more apparent this is this is a Diane Reevely stencil I'm sure I got this at Tuesday morning uh, this I think is a Teresa Collins stencil this Fleur de Lis um, I got that at a scrap expo and I put that here and then this is a Stampin' Up! stencil and it's stars and I did those here and everything's really subtle it's all about texture it's not something you can see very well 
Um, so yeah, so some of those, so those, those are some of the products that I used. Um, what else did I use? What else can I tell you about? Oh, I had, I had, I have this in my stash. This is an art something, Art C product, and I have a whole bunch of colors, and they're all dried out. I'm looking for uh, my spatula. It's too small. Yeah, I have to throw this away. This is all completely dry. So I tried using that, and uh, it didn't quite work. So I ended up using um, a little bit of this stucco, a little bit of whatever I had left of that, embossed paste from Art C to make um, to make these these particular um, stencils. And then um, let's see, I had some. This was some butterflies. These two butterflies right here that totally blended into the background right here and right here are from some friends from um, an art retreat. I had these flowers. These are from Recollections and these leaves as well from Recollections. This was part of the uh, die cut images I got from my friend. Um, the door, the corrugated cardboard and this string was provided by uh, Zandra. Um, from paperandpaintstudio.com and um, she was part of the art retreat that I went to and she gave everybody a bag full of the lace and these pieces uh, to do this particular texture so this was her her idea and um, these images this apple this bird uh, there's a, actually three apples under here the bird's nest and the sun. These are all from uh, napkins, decorative napkins. And um, I just peeled back the plies of the napkins, got to the base design and uh, glued these down. Chose the pieces that I wanted to, uh, for it and glued them down. So this sun is part of the tissue paper napkin. So is this, so are these apples. It's part of a different one. And you can't really see it, but uh, I put a rub on over here that said, um, I love New York. This is also part of a rub on that I had that is just a compass. Uh, I had some pages also that were from some uh, crafty friends from a crafty retreat, I believe, that had some um, definitions in Spanish. So English words like charming and the Spanish uh, translation. It says adjective and it says encantador so charming is encantador in Spanish and here's another one that I partially covered up this is another one this one says chain something and I can't remember what either one of those say but it has to do all the words are part of charming and home and related to that um, so yeah, this was uh, uh, an air dry clay piece, and at first I, I colored it, I painted it red, and uh, I colored the rainbow inside uh, this arch of windows right here, and it was just too bright, too in your face, and I didn't like it, <laughs> so I painted it over in white. Uh, I basically kind of went over almost all of the canvas, um, that any of the color uh, in white because these were painted gold originally uh, like this um, I painted these with some gold and uh, let's see so this color here is a combination of a color uh, a few of the Adirondack color wash inks uh, I put some stream in here this one is uh, an indigo that I put there uh, I glued down the birds and the home and all the, pe the all the essential pieces basically with um, actually no I didn't use that to glue it down I don't think I used that one at all I used I used this this is a Vicky Booten matte acrylic gel and I used this obviously Tuesday morning 
Uh, I used it to glue everything down. Then I had some stamps with some images on it. Here's, here's the stamps that I used. Uh, I used this one in a couple of different places here, 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 here. I used this one with the words and it's actually the name of uh, a few artists. There's Frida Kahlo in here, uh, Michelangelo, Degas, a couple of artist names here and I just stamped that a bunch of different places even on the door and um, on the butterfly I know I stamped it and then um, then what did I do? Then I broke out my uh, We Are Memory Keepers foil quill, which is this. It's a USB charged, uh, they're basically hot pens that you use with foil. And I have a chisel tip, or this is called a calligraphy tip. And then uh, a pointed tip. And I got those nice and hot. It also comes with uh, it comes with a bunch of, it came with a bunch of foils in different colors. And I have, I have a bunch more. Uh, and uh, I've started first with the gold. And um, I was kind of getting used to using it. Because uh, I was trying to write with it. I was trying to get these kind of thick lines I was trying to do calligraphy with it but I, I couldn't manage it and um, so I ended up doing lots of different things and in different colors <laughs> so I used the gold I used that up as much as I could I used up uh, quite a bit of the silver although I have plenty left and a little bit of the copper and just a little bit of the blue. I don't know if you can see what that says. It says heaven on earth. And I, uh, and I took the pen. Oops, sorry. I took the pen once it was getting hot. And what it didn't matter what tip I was using, if I was using you know, the calligraphy tip, I just kind of did check marks and check marks like that to create like this, which is supposed to be like birds flying in the sky, or I did something like this and uh, got that on there, or I just went, you know, just did marks like this, one, two, three, in the silver, here and here, here. So anywhere you see a flash of gold or silver, is where I added. So I definitely used the foil quill here. This is not paint, this is uh, foiling. Uh, this silver right here is foiling. There's foiling on the bird, on the leaves, that's foiling. This is foiling. I tried to do some on the leaf, that didn't work too well. Um, there's foiling here. I wrote heaven and earth in the blue, heaven and earth in the um, copper and then I also did it in silver right there so lots of little of the sparkly elements that are the foil on the Sun I just did squiggles kind of like that I tried to foil on the stars but it really just wasn't working uh, I have to use it a lot more to get used to it and to figure out how to use it really so I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, oh, there's more of the paper, the, whatchamacallit, the tissue paper on the bottom edge right here, but you can't really see it. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. I used a ton of my supplies uh, in a different way that I had used before. And I really enjoyed the whole process. Uh, I'd like to get started on another one. Uh, give me some ideas on a subject matter and uh, Maybe I'll get started on another one soon. If you like this project uh, Please give me a thumbs up definitely leave a comment below. Do you work in mixed media? Do you work on canvases? I'd love to see some of your pieces 
And uh, if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please definitely consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate you having, uh, having you as a subscriber. And thanks so much for stopping by, everybody. Bye.